Every time a genocide takes place, the Templars, the aristocracy of the Per A and Switzerland and their banks have their dirty little fingers in it. And another one on the list of Swiss mass murderers from Octagon was General Custer, also called the Squaw Killer and murderer of little Native American children, which is a Swiss speciality to attack and terrorize the defenseless as they and the Swiss Nazi Templars organized during World War II and even on the Germans and their children during the Thirty Year War. So here you can see the obelisk at his grave. Wow, only a pharaoh gets an obelisk on his grave. And he's from the motherland of Octagon, the base of the pharaohs in the Alps. Octagon waits their chance and then they do it again and again and let out their natural born hatred towards humanity and mostly on the children. The name Custer, it's not English, it comes out of German and is originally written with a K and a U with two dots on it. And watch the word Palatine here, I'll come back to that later. So this here is in uh, Wikipedia about Custer. There it is. So this here is from Wikipedia and you can see he is uh, buried, his tomb is in uh, West Point where the obelisk is. He got an important place because he's a pharaoh, a pharaoh from the base of Switzerland. So do know Indians, Native Americans, my brothers, that it's not the average white man who did this. They did it with us too, you know. It's pharaonic, and it's Switzerland. You've got Swiss cheese. You got that? And look how innocent these Swissies always look. It's amazing. Oh, there's, there's no, there's no emotion on his face. Like you know, that's that's how they are. There it is again, innocent Swiss face. There's, there's no wrinkles, there's n no emotion, it's like there's nobody in there. The German name Küster is the name for a church servant whose task it is to light the candles, open and close the church doors, prepare the books, Bibles and songs, ring the bells, etc. It derives from the Latin name Kustos. In the Old Testament, they were called the Levites in the synagogue. So, you can read it if you want one of this. I could only find it, find it in German, of course. So here you can see a map of Germany where the name Kuster, or Kuster, like in general Kuster, is uh, concentrated a lot. And it's here. This is the Palatine. And from here... They went to England and afterwards to the uh, United States. So this here is Switzerland, here's Basel, here's the north of Switzerland here. And after the 30 year war, which ended in 1648, they settled down all over southern Germany. Uh, because two thirds of the Germans were dead and murdered by the Swiss mercenaries. And this place here is Alsace, which was completely emptied. 95% of the population, the Gallo-Romanic population, they got murdered by the Swiss. And then they went further north, well of course they stayed here as well, and they went further north into the Palatine. And this is where General Custer's ancestors came from. So, you know, um, yeah. So he was not English, he was not Irish, he was not Norwegian or Italian, it was German. And he came from Switzerland originally, uh, from Octagon. So that's where he came from, the mass murderers and the Squaw Killer. The Squaw Killer's ancestors, Paulus und Gertrude Küster, came to the US in 1693 and just after the Thirty Year War from the German Palatine Rhineland 
in southern Germany. But they were not German, but Swiss. As the Swiss mercenaries murdered two-thirds of the German population during the Thirty Year War and massively settled down in southern Germany and Alsace, where 95% of the original population got Swiss cheesed. So the Thirty Year War and the enormous genocide on the German people ended in 1648. Then Custer's Swiss ancestors settled down in Alsace, just as Obama's Swiss ancestry. Obama's ancestry took the same route. Then they went to Germany and f only 45 years later were in the US where the Swissies went for the key positions as usual and just as General Custer Octagon rules over Pentagon. And uh, it might be very well that Obama's ancestors they are related with Custer's ancestors. It's one big family anyway, you know. One big evil pharaonic octagon family it is. That's that Switzerland. A few came to Germany from Switzerland. Well, I tell you, it was not a few. There was many. How yeah, about the Palatines? And here it says, there's a lot of the, the Palatines, they went to England. Here it says, arrival in England. And I give you some examples of that, you know, today's examples. And, uh, well, after that, they went into the United States. And uh, it says, migration to New York. Oh, well, look it up in uh, Wikipedia. Even a Rockefeller. He's from the Palatines. There you go. Nice, eh? So here's some more Swiss who Custers or Custa who came from um, over the Palatines into England and then made it to the US. Well, here you see an octagonal statue there. It's in Manchester. Somebody go and have a look. Maybe uh, we are changed Manchester. Have a look where the Custers are from Switzerland. So these are Swiss sleeper agents from Octagon. They even bring their Octagon symbols with them. See, this is today. This was, it's only half a year ago, in October 2013. There you go. There's an article in the Union Leader <clears throat> yeah, in Manchester about the Custers from Switzerland over the Palatines. They're not German. And that says again, notable Palatines. Rockefeller, he's the uh, progenitor of the Rockefeller family. Another Swissy, I told you. It's all Swissies. And of course, it's a banker, a Swiss banker. Who doesn't give a damn about the Americans, does he now? What did he do against Black Tuesday in 1929? Well, he probably conspired together with the Swiss president Herbert Hoover and gay Ed Edgar Hoover or Hoover and Eisenhower. Wakey, wakey, people. The genocide on the Native Americans was a Swiss idea, as usual. This is Octogon. So, my dear. Native American brothers don't blame all the whiteys on it because like this you won't get the real perpetrators of the genocide. So here it says the Cheyenne nicknamed Costa the Squaw, Squaw Killer. I, you know maybe the Native Americans are not the easiest people to to go to come around with you know but um, I don't think they're liars. They're not. That's why they I think they, they, they'll tell you what they think. There it says, they nicknamed Costa the Squaw Killer and the Baby Killer. Yeah, it says, who did that? Well, the Cheyenne did. That says, the Cheyenne. I think that's the truth. I mean, they already did it with the Germans. You know, 30 year war. Then they went to England. 
from the Palatine, from Switzerland and into the US and did it again and they do it again. Then they did it with the Jews, Second World War. It's the same octagon. Oh, there you go again, the mass murderer, Costa, he's not a hero at all, you know. Octagon, they celebrate their own heroes, you know, but they're not our heroes, are they now? The heroes of the pharaohs. Charming fellows, eh? So here's some more about the, the Squaw Killer from Octagon, bringing shame upon America. And the legacy of Octagon continues to this very day as we can witness in this YouTube channel here called CustaWest.org. where Swiss Custer and his Swiss genocidal soldiers get celebrated as heroes. Frank Braun from Bern, Switzerland, John King from Basel, John Latman from Zur Zurich, Robert Zen from Bern, Vincent Charles from Luzern, Frederick Lehmann from Bern, and the rest of the Swiss killers and mass murderers, all from Switzerland, just as many of the SS were from Switzerland. And you can see it's from 2010, or almost, well, almost 2011. This is today, it still lives, it still lives on here in Switzerland. They honor like Mr. Custer, the, the, the score killer, here in Switzerland. This is Octagon. And you can see, uploaded in 2010. You're not forgotten. Well, nice, isn't it? Well, they don't forget it here. They love these sort of things in Switzerland. Look, the guy even has a website uh, honoring the score killer. And guess where Mr. David Cornut, or Cornu, of the website and YouTube channel is from? <laughs> yes, Switzerland, of course. Paying a tribute to his fellow countrymen whom he calls the Swiss heroes at the Little Big Horn, who committed genocide and mass murder in the name of the USA under the US flag, loading these crimes and shame of Switzerland upon the people of America. Well, don't they look alike? Well, this is Mr. David Cornut from, what? Well, let's stress on the word nut, Mr. Cornut from Switzerland. And don't you think they look alike? Mr. Custer and Mr. Cornut. What's well, both names start with a C as well. well? And here he is, Mr. David Cornut. Also in 2010, uh, he, they say he's a special reporter for human rights. Well, don't make me laugh. In, so he's talking here for the United Nations in uh, in the motherland, of course, Switzerland. I mean, the UN is a scam anyway, you know. It's a spy organization for um, uh, for Octagon. How can they let a guy like this talk for the United Nations and discuss human rights issues? How can they do this? I mean, this this is. This is really horrible. This is shocking. I mean, go and look at his, at his video here, a tribute to Swiss soldiers in the US 7th Cavalry, 1876. He says, it each morning after the reveille of the regiment, I pray for her. Well, who's her? Well, Switzerland, of course. They call it here Die Schweiz. Uh, the Sisters of Isis. That's what he's praying for, this Swissie. 
And the Swissy goes on talking about the Swiss sleeper agents within the US saying, because you never leave Switzerland. You just bring her along. Wherever I go. In life and in death. My soul will always be here. Saying literally that a Swiss soul will always be in Octagon, Switzerland. Even when living in the US for hundreds of years. Well, here you got it. Definition of a Swiss sleeper agent. Like J. Edgar Hoover, President Herbert Hoover, General Eisenhower, General Custer and millions of others just living next door. The Swiss also says that the Swiss will never really leave Switzerland and bring Switzerland with him on a, or her wherever he goes. Meaning they'll never integrate and keep conspiring against the world inside their secret Swiss lodges and organizations. At the moment, Obama is throwing one general or admiral after the other out of office. Is he throwing octagon sleeper agents out? Or is it the other way around? Clean cut Switzerland, and remember the big deceiver tries to appear as innocent, clean and neutral.